So the Department of Defense continues to actively address the incident involving the unauthorized disclosure of classified documents. As the secretary made clear in his statement last Thursday, DOD's highest priority is the defense of our nation and our national security. And the department is taking this breach seriously and continues to work around the clock to better understand the scope and scale of these leaks. Throughout last week and over the course of the weekend, the secretary and senior Pentagon officials continue to convene daily meetings to examine the scope and scale of this disclosure, as well as ensure that appropriate mitigation measures are being taken. In support of this effort, the secretary has formally directed Under Secretary of Defense for Intelligence and Security in coordination with the Chief Information Officer and the Director of Administration and Management to lead a comprehensive review of DOD security programs, policies, and procedures. Within 45 days, INS will provide the Secretary with initial findings and recommendations to improve the Department's policies and procedures related to the protection of classified information. We'll have more to say soon on more immediate actions that will be taken, that we will be taking. We continue to be in close touch with the White House and interagency and have also continued to engage with our partners and allies at high levels, both within DOD and throughout the interagency. We will also continue to engage with Congress. Again, we'd encourage you to be mindful of how you are reporting and repurposing these images due to the classified nature of this information and the potential impact on national security, as well as the safety and security of our personnel and those of our allies and partners. And finally, I also want to take a moment to address something we've seen in press reports that warrant us relaying the facts. With regard to the U.S. military presence in Ukraine, we've publicly acknowledged previously that there is a small U.S. military footprint in Ukraine to provide mission-critical support to the U.S. Embassy. To be clear, there are no U.S. combat troops conducting combat operations in Ukraine. And while we're not going to go into the specific disposition of our forces, uh, for OPSEC reasons. Their duties include support to the Defense Attaché Office in support of our security assistance programs and end-use monitoring, as well as U.S. Embassy security support. This is not new and, again, something we've been transparent about and publicly uh, with, with Congress as well.